Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Gem Crush. So this is a very popular game that you may have played on websites, Facebook, on your mobile phone, but now it is in Minecraft in the form of a GUI mini game. If you do four slash GC, it will show you the game. Very, very cool. It loads and it looks very, very nice with all these cool animations. At the top, it says Gem Crush moves 20, score 90. And then if we do 4 slash GC top, this would show all of the stats. But um, obviously, um, I haven't actually played yet, so there's no stats to display. So we're going to have a quick game and show you how to play it if you've never played it before, like me. Um, if we go down here, we can see that there are lots of different gems in here in the form of, um, well, clay, iron, anvils, uh, bones, and whatnot. You can change all of this in the config file. You can add rewards and um, economy, commands, all that good stuff when a player gets a certain score. So let's have a quick go. Um, if you want to play it, you have to click about and try and get matching pairs. So I'm having a look. Maybe if I move these two together, you can see I got three pearls in a row and then it moves down. So if I move these two, um, two uh, gems, it will move down again. And you can do this and you have 17 moves left and then our score will be topped up. So uh, what else can we move? I'm pretty bad at this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're rolling here and now we will get five in a row and it will move down even more. And you just carry on like this until your moves run out. You can obviously customize how many moves you want players to actually have in the config file. Um, like that. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the video and I'll be back when we have finished this and we will also move on to the config file. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner I have finished the game uh, with 820 points which is very good. I wasn't expecting to get that high. Um, I ran out of moves and that is my final score. So if we go into the gem crush folder uh, in your plugins folder we will see a few files. So we have obviously the languages, there is English, German and obviously uh, default which is also English. Um, and we have the stats file which hasn't been updated yet and the config file. So in here there is quite a lot of things you can change. Let's start at the bottom. So we have all of the different gems so as you can see we have uh, various different ones, the gold block, clay ball and they have different display names, different probabilities and how many points you get when they break. So that's cool that you can customize that. And if we scroll up we can see that um, you can uh, set rewards. So uh, at the end of the game uh, it will pay uh, whatever reward you set. Uh, send messages, broadcasts, and commands. So we can set this down here. So at zero, um, zero points, you will get um, this message. You can do better than that. So I would have got 500 uh, if this was enabled. Um, and you get this command, and it broadcasts this message. So you can just add more of these by simply copy and pasting it below. Make sure you don't have any errors. Uh, and change the number. So we got 820 points. So if that was 800, we would get um, say 800 money and uh, two diamonds or something. So it's a very cool mini game that you can play in a GUI without anyone else while you're waiting for a friend or just bored uh, while on someone's Minecraft server. It's very cool that you can do this. Um, and up here you can actually customize the game. So you have ticks between movement, ticks between switch and destroy and the number of moves uh, you allow a player to start with. Maybe 20 is a bit too high, uh, 10 to 15 would be good, honestly. And you can set the number of normal gems to uh, whatever you want, make sure it's uh, equal or smaller than the number of gems defined. Uh, so we have 8, 7 or 8 are good numbers, 7 is easier, um, but 8 is a bit more challenging, which we had, and we did pretty well at, honestly and it says the default language file at the top um, so you can choose whichever one you want but yeah that is the plugin it's free to download off Swigert it's just a lot of fun lightweight simple and just enjoyable for your players so you can download it below subscribe like comment and I will see you next time